Welcome to the community update. Uh, this time we have a special guest joining us. This is developer Feather of Sun. Uh, Feather, go ahead and tell them a little bit about yourself. Uh, thanks, Tolero. So I uh, joined the uh, Dungeons and Dragons Online systems design team in January. Um, I mostly work on, on treasure. Um, some of the things I've enjoyed doing were uh, revamping uh, the random item generation system. And in general, I do whatever my boss, Aladrin, tells me to. <laughs> so Feather is here today to help us answer some more Mimic questions. So the Mimic is back, and we'll see what kind of answers we can come up with. So our first question. All right, this is a nice one. All right. This one comes from Danielle on Facebook, and it's, what's the best weapon to use while wielding a shield? Okay, well generally the best kind of weapon to use while wielding a shield is going to be either a bastard sword or a dwarven war axe, since if you're using those when paired with a shield, you'll also get glancing blows with them, which will add to your overall damage. Nice. Obviously, best weapons very subjective. So, right. But in terms of strategy, that's a good strategy. Mm -hmm. All right, in a court, this is from V2099 from YouTube. In accordance with the soon to come new enhancement system, will the Dragon Mark be revisited as well? This has been talked about in the past, but I've yet to see uh, anything for them. Yes. <laughs> so we'll have more information regarding enhancement change specifics uh, in the future, but stay tuned. All goes according to plan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, obviously people have heard a little bit about upcoming uh, giant hold changes for next year. So this question came from Fee Luck. Will there be epic blue, white, and black dragon scale armory with epic versions of the dragon helms that you already find in Tor? Yes. Again, once we get closer, we're going to go, we'll go into some more details. Let's see. Oh, two questions trying to jump out. Which one should right. we do? Let's go with that one. All right. Does ranged alacrity stack with haste armor from the Artificer? This is from Hanya on Kenneth. So like nearly everything else in the game, bonuses of the same type do not stack. All forms of ranged alacrity that you're going to find on items in the game currently are an enhancement bonus, and as is the haste spell and the Artificer armor of speed spell. So uh, in those cases, it won't stack. Ranged alacrity from a different source uh, such as an enhancement, will stack. All right. Here's a fun one. All right. What are you guys planning for the future? I mean, what kinds of stuff mm. is coming soon? This is from uh, Beyonder on Galanda. Well, the future is pretty vague, but uh, maybe I can do a little more with soon. So our next patch, uh, update 16, patch 1, will have some changes to Potions of Wonder that I just shoehorned in lately. And uh, they're all going to start stacking in your inventory. Newly generated ones, that is, not the, any ones you might already have. And they're going to have a wide variety of interesting effects. Um, somewhere in the area of 100 different possible things that could happen when you drink one. And in the future after that, there's one thing that I got the OK to mention. is uh, So as I'm sure you're all aware, we, we discontinued the old epic augment system with the release of Menace of the Underdark. Now, I'm sure a bunch of you are wondering why, and the real reason for this was it wasn't a very friendly or easy to use system. In order to use it properly, you had to go to a device, uh, you, uh, you need to buy the appropriate uh, catalyst for the augment that you wanted to slot, you had to use all these in the device, and then you couldn't even easily replace one once you had it slotted. Instead, you would have to uh, put your item in the Altar of Epic Rituals with some epic dungeon tokens, and then that would be a uh, Eldritch recipe that would essentially just delete your item and spit out a new blank one. Really, this was kind of crappy user experience. So we discontinued that old system temporarily while we got the new one ready, and this new one will be going out in update 17. Things to look forward to, uh, this will not just be epic level content, there will be augment slots and augments for all level ranges throughout the game. In addition to that, you won't need to mess around with any devices. You'll just be able to click on the augment in your inventory and just use it at any time. And then if you want to put a new one in your item that already has an augment, an augment just click on the new augment and you can just put it right in the item and overwrite the old one. Yeah, so that'll be a lot more convenient for people that way you're not having to run all the way back to the altar and then back again. So it'll just make a lot more sense and be a little more user friendly. It's been my pet project for a, for a long time and I think people are going to love it when they see it. Think we have time for some more Mimic? I think we do. All right, let's see who we got next. Ooh. 
Silent Cold Night at Twitter wants to know, if you were a randomly generated piece of equipment, what would you be and why? How would you be mm. used and by who? That's a tough one. I would have to say that I would be a holy longsword of a thousand suns. Okay. Because a thousand suns is the coolest sounding weapon prefix we have in the game, and it causes things to explode. Nice. So, yeah. Let's see, I would be a, probably a necklace so that I can cling to you and whisper uh, bad things in your ear. She's and horrifying. I'm horrifying. Uh, I would also be a grease clicky because mm. I can't do anything useful in the party, so obviously I would need to just grease the whole party and knock everyone down. So she's a troll also. I'm totally a troll. Uh, and then I also would turn you into a Taken randomly. You know, I'd probably be like a, a Potion of Wonder maybe. Okay. Yeah, Potion of Wonder type. Okay. But definitely a lot I of grease. I believe it. Um, I'd love to see what our uh, YouTube followers would be. So if you were a randomly generated item in DDO, what would you be and what would you be good for? So... I think that's all the questions we have for this week. Uh, thanks right. for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Tolero, high five. High five.